Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler. So today I'm sharing with you my everyday winter makeup routine. This is like very requested. I feel like on my channel I get a lot of questions about like my everyday makeup, like I love your makeup, can you show us how you do it? And I feel like I show you guys this all the time, but I don't know, maybe it's been a while. I guess I haven't done a dedicated video in a while. So I'm sitting down doing that for you guys. These are products that I really, really love, but I do switch out my products frequently, but I kind of explain which ones I keep, which ones I switch out, and for what reason. So I hope you enjoyed that. Again, please make sure to watch all the other Vlogmas videos. There will be a link in the description box that will take you to a playlist so you can watch all the other ones. There's a bunch of beauty. There's just some fun vlogging, like a bunch of different stuff, fashion stuff. So I hope you have been enjoying Vlogmas so far, and let's get started in the video. All right, let's get started with this makeup look. So most of these things stay pretty much the same, but I do switch out foundation just depending on what matches me, yada, yada, yada. And like, I am the type of person I self tan, but I let myself get pretty pale just because I'm lazy. I just don't wanna self tan so much that I'm always the same color. I know that's probably weird, but that's how I am. So. I let myself get really fair. When I'm really fair, I use, which I am pretty fair right now, I either use this HD liquid coverage um, from Catrice in the shade Sand Beige, or I use Flower Beauty. I use Flower Beauty Light Illusion in L2. This is if I'm like really, really fair. Um, I'll have to see which one I'm gonna use today. But if I'm not super fair and I am like a normal color for me, usually I will use the um, Wet n Wild Mega Cushion. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite foundation right now. I wish I could use it every single day. I could if I got another shade. But um, I, my Target never has it and then I'm too lazy to go anywhere else. So there you go. I'm thinking I could probably get away with this one from Catrice. This is one of my favorites for like a good amount of coverage, but for an everyday makeup, I would probably always go for the Mega Cushion from Wet n Wild, just so you know. So if you're looking for a foundation and you don't do what I do and self tan, or if you wanna get a couple shades, then go with the Mega Cushion. It's just so skin-like and beautiful. I just love this foundation so much. Yep, I'm gonna go with this one. Sand Beige from Catrice. Catrice, I can't speak. This is their HD liquid coverage foundation. This has amazing coverage and you can kind of customize how much coverage you want by putting less on your sponge or your brush or whatever. I just remembered, I think I usually like to use this with a brush and then a sponge, but We'll see, I might just switch what I was gonna do. I'm gonna take my F80 Kabuki brush from Sigma, probably just drop a little bit on my face, and then I'll go in with the brush and go in with the sponge later. So I just think use whatever foundation you're comfortable with. I have multiple that I really like, and I'm doing a video actually. I'm gonna film it right after this, so it might be up, but I don't think it's up yet, so stay tuned for this video coming up. Um, it is a, like, my favorite foundations for the winter time, and, like, basically right now, just different foundations that I rotate through and that I like for different reasons. I just love the coverage of this, and it looks very natural on the skin. It doesn't look super heavy. It doesn't feel super heavy. I've loved this foundation now for a while, and I'm so happy people are starting to talk about it because it really is amazing. Okay, so I like to build it up to about medium coverage. Um, it basically covered all my all my stuff over here. Um, I just kind of like to build it up to where it's pretty much covered but not completely a mask, you know what I mean? Then I'll go in for concealer. I really love the Flower Beauty Concealer. Again, this changes. I like to switch mine up, but as a go-to, this Flower Beauty one is really nice. This is their Light Illusion Concealer. And again, if I didn't say it before, everything in this video is gonna be linked in the description box, so if you have a question about something or you want to pick up one of these items, then everything will be linked in the description box. And I don't know if I've said this in a makeup video, I say it all the time in my fashion ones, but if you, um, 
If you buy through my link, please know it is an affiliate link, so I do get a small commission, but that just helps me keep making these videos for you guys and making free content, basically. So um, I really appreciate the support when you guys do shop through my links. It really means a lot. All right, and so I'm just blending everything out with a damp sponge. This one is from Ulta. This is their Ulta, Ulta Collection sponge. For powder, my favorite one lately for every day is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. I switch between this and the Maybelline Loose Powder or even sometimes the Cody Airspun Powder, but this is for more like glam days. So an everyday basic basis, I usually use this um, in the shade Classic Ivory. And I use this brush with it. This is from um, Wet n Wild, part of their bro, their bro brush collection, their pro but. Pro brush collection. I can't speak lately. I think it's probably because I've been filming so many videos. I just cannot speak. Okay. So I set this. I set my whole face with this. But mostly like my T-zone. So my under eyes I set with it. And then I also like to set pretty well the um, chin and my nose and my forehead. Because those are the areas that I get oily. So I'm putting a little aquaphor on my lips. I like to do this while I do my makeup so that they're nice and moisturized when I do want to put on lipstick. Before we go any further, I'm going to put on my Catrice Eyebrow Filler Perfecting and Shaping Gel. I really need to go to Ulta tomorrow and get another one of these because I am running very low on it. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with this. Use whatever you would like for your eyebrows. This is just works for me and it's so quick and easy. I just cannot use anything else for an everyday basis. For bronzers and stuff, I mix them up a lot as well. If I had it, I would have I would use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, but I don't have it right now because mine shattered and again, Target was slacking and didn't have the butter bronzer when I was there yesterday when I was going to pick it up. So, I'm going to use this. This is really really beautiful as well. This is from Elf. This is their um little duo, their contouring blush and bronzing powder in the shade Fiji. I really, really like this stuff as well. So I just take this and put it along the cheek area, like underneath my cheekbone to kind of contour and bronze at the same time. And this brush is Eco Tools. It's called their Full Blush Brush. I got it in a set from there and I really, really love it. I really like Eco Tools brushes. I really need to get more of them. I need to stop saying really. And then... I put it as well on the forehead area right here. Just kind of bring it up and like connect the two areas. I like this because it blends really nicely. It's a nice color. It's not too harsh on me or anything. Again, I just take it up along the forehead here. And I will take this brush and for an everyday basis, I just squ squish it and lightly go along the nose and down and then go on the tip area. And then don't worry, we're gonna blend that out with the powder brush. I like to go along the chin. And then again, I bring this down the neck so that when I'm wearing something a little bit higher neckline, then it looks nice and seamless. And then I'll take the powder brush and just go over everything. And like, since I'm explaining everything, this is gonna be a lot longer of a video but when I do this in an everyday basis this takes me like 10 to 15 minutes so it really doesn't take me much time at all because I have it down into a routine um so I know it seems like a lot but it's really not once you kind of get everything down and then I like to take this so an everyday basis I don't wear eyeshadow it's just not my jam lately like I used to be that type but I just don't like to bother with it. I would rather have good skin. And so I bother with my skin and then I just run the bronzer brush over my eyelid like this. And it just gives a little bit of warmth, a little bit of dimension, but nothing crazy. And again, I just kind of squish it together. You could also do this obviously with an eye blending brush. Take the bronzer, put it in your crease, but it just is so much more diffused and blown out this way. I don't have to spend any time really on it. It's just so quick. Then I'll take blush right now. Like I switch these out as well. You guys, I don't really do the same one every single time. So I'm going to take this one in the palette that the bronzer was in. And I learned something from 
the Southern Style Guide, I think is what it's called on Instagram. That's what her handle is called. Where you basically, she learned it from Charlotte Tilbury um, at Sephora. It's like Sephora's um, beauty conference, basically. And you are supposed to not, like, smile or, like, you know, yeah, smile when you apply your blush because if you smile and you apply it here and then your face droops, it, like, brings down your blush. So to get that contoured look, you should just look straight ahead, make an L, and this is where you should start applying, and then sweep it back. So it looks more contoured, and your face looks more chiseled. It doesn't look as, like, on the apples and then droopy. And this brush I'm using is the contour brush from elf it is a great great alternative and if you want like the morphe e4 it's like the same brush but this is probably two or three dollars i don't remember how much the morphe one is but it's definitely more expensive than this one and then i'm going to use the essence pure nude highlighter this one is so pretty for every day it's just nice and natural but you could also build it up if you want so i just Put this on the cheekbones. So pretty. And this is an, uh, a Wet n Wild Pro brush as well. Highlighting brush. Look at how pretty that is. It's so pretty. Not super like crazy. And then I'll take this and I like to run it over my eyebrow area. Right here. And then I also like to sweep this up above the eyebrow here. And then sometimes I use a finger, some I, sometimes I use this little brush. This is the E36 from Morphe. I'll take some of the highlight, and this makes a big difference. I put it in the inner corner of the eye. This makes a big difference. It just opens your eye so much. You look so much more awake. And if you have to get up early for something, put highlight in the inner corner of your eye. It'll help so much. And then to kind of like tone down the highlight, you could take your blush brush as well and do a similar thing. I do kind of both because I like the look of taking a sponge and going over it and then I kind of go over with my blush brush just to make sure everything's blended and it doesn't look so harsh and just crazy. It looks one with your skin. Okay, then I always, always curl my lashes. Like literally every single day I curl my lashes. It just really opens up my eyes so much more um, so that's what I always do. Curl my lashes. And then again, I use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Amplifying Primer. I love using a um, lash primer before mascara because it really helps make your lashes look so much bigger and fuller. You don't have to use like 50 coats of mascara. Um, so I'm just kind of wiping off that Aquaphor that I have on. And honestly, a lot of days, I usually wear just this. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lip Liner in the shade Caramel Nude. It's my absolute favorite lip liner ever. If you want to know, like, my favorite um, lipsticks, I have a whole video on my favorite lip colors up on my channel. Um, so you should go check that out. I'll try and remember to link it down below. If I don't, please comment in the, just, you know, comments and let me know so I remember to link it. So I just line my lips with this and fill them in. I like to do this to save time while the mascara primer is kind of drying. And then for mascara, I've been using the Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara from Essence. This is a really good one. I think I'm almost out of this as well, so I need to pick up a new mascara. Someone, me, needs to go to Walgreens so I can get all this stuff because my target here is not the best. So I like to do full coat, like basically two coats of this um, to get them nice and built up. And then for a final step, I like to spray my face with this Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. I really like their Hydrating Glow Mist or something too.
All right, you guys, that is it for my everyday winter makeup. I hope you enjoyed it. It's just really like flawless and easy to achieve, at least I think so. Um, it's not anything with eyes. It's mostly just focusing on my skin, and I feel really confident and happy in this. So, again, I switch out a lot of products, but these are kind of my go-to, I guess. Um, I do, you know, switch out bronzers and different things, but you guys know my favorite bronzer is Butter Bronzer, things like that. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Make sure to watch all the other Vlogmas videos in the playlist that I will link in the description box of this video. Um, and yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in a video tomorrow. Bye guys.